out at Mission Bay looking for some spotted bay bass and some halibut. It's low tide right now, pretty much bottomed out. It'll get high around 11 o'clock. Kind of fishing that skinny water right now. The bay is pretty much drained out. Getting that bait lower in the water column, fishing the lighter style war baits, quarter ounce and three eighth ounce. There we go. Pick one up there. Kind of hit it back on the fall. I was dropping it back down. Put up a good fight. Throwing that double rig right now. Oh, that was easy out. <laughs> yeah, nice fish. Great to get one and get it started. Now I'm throwing these bad fish saltwater swim baits. Something different, something different. They do offer a subscription pack, something you can get every month. It's nice to find some swim baits. I mean, swim baits are kind of, sounds strange, but swim baits are a little bit difficult to find. I guess unique swim baits are difficult to find. It's good to see a company making some unique colors and that just gives me a little bit more confidence, you know, it's, it's something I haven't seen and it's something the fish hasn't seen. There we go. Picked it up on the drop, off the cast. Saw it falling. Saw it falling from the surface. Another little guy. You're hitting the same Hit the same bait. It's the heavier bait, the three three eighth ounce. There it is. <laughs> a little fat belly for a small guy. Good to see they're feeding on something. There it is, throwing that double rig. A little three and a half inch, four inch swim bait with the quarter ounce and a three eighth ounce head. Keeps them separated. There we go. Saw the line jam out on that one. Feels like another small one. It's all good. At least we're catching them. Another small one, but we're getting bit, so that's a plus. There we go. Another decent one, he hit the quarter ounce. So the lighter bait that's falling. And he, if you look at it, I mean, he choked it. He closes his mouth, it's a goner. <laughs> Fun fishing right there. One thing I figured out is they're not chasing bait high in the water column right now. It could be because it, the tide is just starting to turn. So the tide is just starting to move. So they might be kind of hunkered down in the eelgrass, not, not willing to come out and swim around right now. But maybe once the tide starts moving more, they'll move around as well. Start being a little bit more active with the swimming to the bait and eating it. <laughs> right now it's kind of like the bait is falling and they're eating it. There we go. Smack it on the fall again. I let it hit the bottom. Put it into gear and boy, he took off with it. Small fish though. <laughs> hit it like a big one. Small one though. Easy in, easy out. That's typical spotted bay bass. If you guys know, if you guys fish spotted bay bass, you know, sometimes you hook into them and you're like, giant! Very powerful, small fish. Really fun fighting. There we go. Fight back a little bit. Still looking for that double. I gotta say, I'm impressed by these baits so far. That was several fish, the same baits. So they are showing to be tough, spotted bay bass tough. You guys know spotties, they can rip through your whole bag of plastics pretty quickly. Got one swimming there. Oh, a little 10 incher. <laughs> 
All right, all right, all right. Oh my God. I just snapped off in the reel. Oh my God. That was a double rig. <laughs> Dude, just snapped off in the reel. Back at it, guys. Back at it. But I got that single bait on this time. I didn't have the patience to tie the double rig up. It's kind of something I would do at home. There we go. Got one on that single. Got one on the single rig, standard standard rig, underspin. Again with that bad fish swim bait. The swim bait's a pretty unique color. The body's like an amber, or the top is like amber with looks like black flake, and then the bottom is it looks like purple and blue flake. Sometimes you just need to stay away from spotted bay bass gills and teeth. Don't get your hands near them. Oh my God. Snapped off. Snapped off in the spool again. Oh man. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hang this rod up. I don't wanna mess with it anymore. Let's find something else to fish. There we go. Feels like a decent bite on the swim jig. Fishing that 3 8 ounce swim jig with a little paddle tail out the back. You can kind of see how that would look. Swim jig gives a lot of vibration and shape shifting to the bait. And with that little paddle tail, it's gonna give a little bit of kick at the end. Dude, rocked him that time. <laughs> nice. Good to get another one on the swim jig. They seem to be located more on the bottom. They're not really swimming up in that water column. They want that bait kind of glued to that grass right now. So we're gonna keep with that. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Got a swim jig bite. Hammering it, dude. It's popping it off the bottom there. I like it. I like it, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. kind of swimming off with it right there. <laughs> I was swimming it and he was swimming with it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Got him. <laughs> All right. Better one. Better one on that swim jig. Just cruising with the wind here on a little drift. Working that jig on the bottom, low and slow. Good to get another one. Always good to get them on the swim jig. It's one of my favorite ways to catch them. They seem to stomp it pretty good and they typically seem to be a little bit on the bigger side. And this is that bad fish plastic still hanging in there. There we go. Got him right through that grass. I 
Here go the plastic. <laughs> there we go. I was just saying I want to connect. Finally connected. <laughs> Ooh, nicer one. <laughs> Underspin that bad fish swim bait. Sweet, get him in. It's that 3 8 ounce DCP underspin with the weed guard gold blade and a little four inch bad fish swim bait. Yeah, that's a fun bite. That's a fun bite there. Another one on the underspin, better fish. Yeah, better fish for sure. Legal. This is what a legal fish looks like. <laughs> That's a nice one right there. Nice bass. Choked it down. <laughs> yeah, solid bay bass. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Legal for sure. Nice bass. That's the goal, legal bay bass. Good to get one. Put up a good fight. Hit it real close to the boat too. One of my go-to baits for sure is the war baits underspin. I like fishing that 3 8 ounce gold or silver blade. I like either one and a four inch round bodied swim bait. That's like a key to getting bit out here. Real streamlined presentation, bait fish presentation. Earlier in the morning before all this traffic got out here and the wind was on, you could see the bait fish getting blasted. So you know there's a lot of fin bait in the water. Those spotties and other predators are taking advantage of those fin bait. There we go. Hit it on the run there. He's just putting up a little resistance. Another blade biter. This guy smells funny. It smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> On the grind, boy. Look at that. Yeah, that felt good. I like the way that rod bends. <laughs> Saw a little bay bass. Good to get another one. Ripping it, dude. Ripping on them. All right, guys, I gotta call it there. It's getting a little too wild out there right now, and I got every sailboat, jet skier, and water skier crossing my lines. <laughs> but I did catch a good amount of fish. Got that one legal, so that was nice. I was able to run a variety of different war baits. I fished that double rig with a quarter ounce war baits underspin and a 3 8 ounce war baits underspin. I paired that up with the bad fish four inch swim bait. I then switched up to a single war baits underspin again with that bad fish swim bait. The bass seemed to be focused on the bottom. So I ended up fishing that three eighth ounce war bait swim jig through the eelgrass and successfully hooked a few bass. Very durable, great colors, and I'm happy with those baits overall. I want to thank you guys for all the support you're giving war baits and this channel we are growing and it's because of you the online store is busy daily and we're proud to be able to get these baits out to you direct if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and we'll respond to those and as always get out there go fishing hook that giant <laughs>